Hello, welcome to another episode of This, That, and the Other. Uh, I'm going to talk about, well, kind of a continuation of what I was talking about yesterday. Why Bear Bryant left the University of Kentucky after he left Maryland. He had a... 60, 23, and 5 record, four bowl appearances, three bowl victories, and a Southeastern Conference title when he left the University of Kentucky for Texas A&M. His 49 to 51 stretch include, included appearances in the Orange, Sugar, and Cotton Bowls and is the best three-year period in the history of the program. After he left Blanton Collier won seven games for the team he inherited from Bryant in 1954, but Wildcats would go on 21 years after that without winning that many games in a season again. His Texas A&M, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. His Texas A&M tenure started with a difficult one and nine season. And after four years at A&M, he left for a head coaching job at Alabama, where he became the most decorated coach in college football with six national championships, three national coaches of the awards, and 13 SEC titles. Popular story was that Bryant left Kentucky due to perception of the university as a basketball school, school, and he felt that he had to keep competing with basketball for football. I felt his football program was wasn't wasn't getting the same kind of wasn't being held to the same importance that I guess the basketball program was. And Kentucky's always pretty much ever, ever since I've I've been around been a been a basketball school. Paul and his family loved the state of Kentucky, the bluegrass area, and the university. Courier Journal sports editor Earl Ruby wrote in February fifth, nineteen fifty four edition. Paul is but Paul is looking for a job that pays him less money and will afford him less chance for outside income. He was extremely unhappy since the basketball scandals rocked the nation and centered unsavory attention on Kentucky. He was a compar comparatively young man in the game, as a genius as football strategist and leader of boys. He has tremendous enthusiasm and ambition. It has been his hope to remain in Kentucky the rest of his life. He would make his name and the name from Kentucky right here in Lexington. So kind of interesting. If 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 the universe if, if the university had maybe prioritized the football program over the basketball program, it's quite conceivable Bear Bryant would have stayed at Kentucky and been there maybe until like his retirement in the nineteen eighties. It would have been a Kentucky coach and imagine what the, what the football team would what would have been back then, but it just uh, Kentucky's always been more of a, a basketball school than a a, foot, a football school, and like like what I was saying, their their football program wasn't very wasn't very good after Bear Bryant left. But before being offered the Texas A&M job, he was offered a job from LSU had an interest in him, but he said he wanted to finish his career in Kentucky. A quote from Bear Bryant, I have, I have nothing but praise for, for anybody and everybody in Kentucky. And we've been wonderfully happy when Texas A&M first asked me if I'd be interested. That was when I was in Cincinnati and in CAA meeting. I laughed, but, well, I've decided the change would be better for me and my family. Bryant's wife, Mary Harmon Bryant, says, Speak for yourself after the coach's description as the moving being best for his family, told the courier. Journal. She first heard the news when a woman phoned and asked to buy their house. Upon learning Bryant was headed to Texas A&M, Bryant had come close to leaving Kentucky for Arkansas a year earlier, only to be talked into staying with promises of changes being made to the program. It says Paul made one last trip to Frankfurt this morning. He learned that the conditions he believed necessary for the betterment of the school and the whole athletic program could not be achieved for some time to come. He returned to Lexington and wired his acceptance 
at 4 p.m. So that's basically why I took the Texas A&M job. And basically, I believe I believe he left Texas A&M later on to go back to his alma mater, Alabama, and that's that's where he stayed. But it's very interesting if he if he had um, if the situation had been different for him, had favor I guess favored been more in the football program favor if the school was focused on being a like a top 10 football program um, Bear Bryant probably would have stayed there for the rest of his coaching career so that's very interesting he had other offers as well he he had some offers for Arkansas which surprisingly he never he, he well he almost took took the Arkansas job before going into World War II and it, it would have made a lot of sense because he—that's where he was born. It was he's from from Arkansas, and he was at one time during the '60s offered the Miami Dolphins coaching job, and he almost he almost took it. He became very close to taking it. It was very Joe Robbie, the owner of the Dolphins at the time, gave him pretty pretty good offer. I believe he was going to buy him a car, a new car, a house, and he almost took it, but. Decided the last minute he, he couldn't do it. He he wanted to stay at Alabama, so he he didn't take the Dolphins' job, which probably probably was a was a good idea. It, in professional football, there is not as much job security as there is in college football, and as popular as Bryant was at Alabama, there was he had that job as long as he wanted. He could have he could have coached there longer and. I, well, it's interesting because he, a month after he retired, he, he did he did die. But who knows if he hadn't retired, maybe he would have lived more years. Who knows? I, I don't know. I don't that that one that one I, I I don't know the answer to. But I have heard of a lot of people who have died soon after retiring. It just I don't know. I I don't I don't know the answer to why you know why that why that happens or anything. But anyway. I'm, like I said, looking for more ideas on what to do shows on in the future. I, I'm kind of at a loss right now for ideas. I, I've been doing football mainly because, well, foot, it's football season right now. And my um, Alabama, University of Alabama is my dad's all, one of the schools my dad went to. And his, his alma mater, that's where he got his degree from. And he, he, he thought the world of, of Paul Bear Bryant and I, I do too. I mean, I, I I have too. What you know, what I, what I knew about him, and I do, I do remember him being the coach of Alabama. And by the time I started watching football in the seventies, he was he was getting up there up there in years. But first game I really remember him being a part of was I think nineteen seventy seven or seventy eight. After seventy seven season, they were playing in the Sugar Bowl against Ohio State. And I remember that first time I really paid any attention to Bear Bryant, but I remember his team wiped Ohio State out in that bowl game. But like I've said before, like, subscribe, share. As always, thanks for watching.